Support WrestleTalk! Donate on Patreon. Hello and welcome to the WrestleTalk News. I am Luke Owen, again filling in for a very ill Ollie Davis. With O-Dog out for another day, we're hopeful he'll be back tomorrow, we won't have a Raw vs Smackdown Wrestle Ramble this week. And the Patreon early access for the weekend episode will be delayed as we can't record it today. Sorry everyone, we will try and make it up to you somehow. It also means that I'm going to be doing both news episodes today. In the last week, we've gone from Matt Hardy teasing his broken character debuting in WWE with a few delete charts here and there, to the full-on craziness of Woken Matt Hardy having the weirdest scope call ever with Bray Wyatt. This is a feud almost a year in the making, which began when Broken Matt tweeted, Oh dear, I'm going to have to do the voice, aren't I? Uh, tweeted on the 12th of December 2016, I formally invite McMahon's Smackdown Live champs, the family of Wyatt, to total non-stop dolition. Our universes must collide. To which Bray simply replied, you know where to find us. An exchange which Matt has brought some long-awaited closure to now, posting after their Raw promo, a solar revolution later, I'm here. And setup and payoff isn't the only thing we can thank Woken Matt 4. He's also promised he's going to get rid of Bray's much criticized alter ego. It shall be 100% deletion of Bray Wyatt and his prominent passenger, the horrendous Sister Abigail. I honestly don't know if I did that voice right. Matt's Woken character has been something fans have been asking for since the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at WrestleMania earlier this year. Some fans have questioned whether Woken Matt Hardy could get over with a non-hardcore WWE crowd, but sometimes the numbers just don't lie. The YouTube clip of Woken Matt cutting a promo on Wyatt passed 1 million views in a 24-hour period, and was one of YouTube's top 25 trending videos for that day. Not only that, but Matt has beaten his brother Jeff, always thought to be the biggest star, in Google search trends for the first time since July 2005. Look right there, there's a little spike in traffic. But whether Woken Matt will be allowed to get over in WWE all depends on one man, Vincent Kennedy McMahon. History has shown that McMahon isn't a fan of gimmicks that WWE didn't create, which led to a lot of people speculating that Vince would put Woken Hardy on TV for a bit and then forget about him when he gets bored. Others wondered whether Vince would get the character. Sports Illustrated are reporting, however, that Vince is actually a big proponent of the Woken gimmick and is giving Matt full creative license on the character as he sees the opportunity to cash in on a character that is already established. This is why Matt is woken rather than broken. Because although Matt owns the rights to the broken universe, WWE can trademark Woken and cash in on it as their own property. And should Matt and Jeff leave WWE, they can just revert back to their broken characters and not lose the gimmick. Sports Illustrated add that Matt is looking to use the Woken character to show he can be a top star like his brother Jeff. And Vince is fully behind this. McMahon has known Hardy for over two two decades, and the chairman clearly trusts Hardy enough to give him the opportunity to connect his character with the vast WWE audience. Is Daniel Bryan turning heel? And which WrestleMania match has been scrapped? Click the videos to the left to find out more, press subscribe and support Wrestle Talk on Patreon. Order issue one of the magazine and download the Wrestle Ramble podcast. I have been Luke Owen, and that was wrestling.